Hey everybody, we are back and we are still power derbying in this heyday video. So why don't we see where we're at at this point because I've managed to make some progress since I was last on with you. So I am done with eight out of nine tasks. I'm on my ninth task right now, which is a truck order task. I've got nine out of my 21 done and I've got about 17 hours left. So I'm pretty good. Um, once I'm done with this, I will be done with all of my tasks. Um, I might take a 10th task, but again, normally I wait to the weekend to see if we need the points. Let's see where we're at. We are in eighth place. Again, I don't usually get too worked up about it until uh, we get closer because I have a lot of players who uh, play a lot on the weekend. So yeah, you can see some people have only done three so far. Uh, three, four, five six seven and i'm wrapping up there with the eights so cool all right someone's requesting some stuff um i don't can't really help with either one of those i'm going to keep that iron bar because um, i need to make an iron bracelet so i'm going to keep those um no i don't sell cotton to these guys and no i don't sell fish fillets to you either because i can sell those for max price um, they normally offer around half price for them more or less so if you're dealing with something that you normally sell for a low amount, or if you frankly don't care about making max price on it, you just want to get it out of your barn, uh, then go for it. But usually I try to make a good profit on a lot of the stuff they ask for, so I rarely sell to them. All right, time to collect all this stuff because, um, well, I'll let you actually look again. I should have showed you here. So the tasks that I've taken so far since we last visited, the 29 truck deliveries that I did um, took quite a bit of my barn out of there. I was working on the sushi rolls when you saw me. And then after that, I served 18 visitors in my town and then I'm working on the 21 truck deliveries. So I'm using a lot of stuff. So my barn is um, going down and I'm trying to refill it. You can see my machines are going. I'm trying to get things filled as quickly as possible, but um, I'm also working on my townies because I sent 18 of them out. So I'm working on meeting their needs too. So lots, lots, lots going on at the moment. Alrighty. So, why don't we try to meet some more of these? Well, first let's check in the fishing area. Because I'm trying to get caught up on my lures because I got so low on my lures. Thanks to my three fishing tasks that I got for the Mystery Derby. Let's, see, let's put a blue one in there and another warm in there. Okay. And we'll get the feather. Put those guys in the salon. Alright, so when we were here yesterday, we were kind of talking about... Um, how to make money on heyday. Remember that one? Profitability and how to make money. And I said part of that depends on the kind of player you are. If you're a player that plays constantly and you're on pretty frequently, or if you're um, a player who doesn't go on as much, like maybe you only go on once a day or twice a day. So that matters because you want to use your time wisely. So if you are a frequent player, you're going to want to get things that are quick to make, um, quick to grow, so that you can be selling them and you have a pretty rapid turnover. As opposed to if you're a player who doesn't get on very often, you're going to want to do stuff that takes longer to grow um, or products that take longer to make because it doesn't really matter if you um, make products quickly. If you don't collect them and you don't sell them, they're just gathering dust on your farm. It doesn't matter. Um, whereas you could be making the products that take longer to make, but they sell for a nice amount of money, but they it takes longer to get the product itself made or it takes longer to get the stuff to make the product if that makes any sense so all right so we already talked about that that was a rehash so now what to talk about well um in regards to profitability there's two ways to look at profitability one of them is just looking strictly at the product itself and how long it takes to make that product so for example um bread being an easy one it takes four minutes to make and you can sell it for a maximum of 21 coins. So 21 coins divided by four is about five point, one, two, three, something like that, coins per hour. So you could take that, you could do that math equation with anything. So you could do it with this lovely, here, let's look what's in here. So we could do it with a cream cake, two hours and 33 minutes for a cream cake. Um, if you figure out what the max price is of a cream cake, and then you divide it by two point, let's see, what is that, 2.55 hours, you would get coins per hour on making a cream cake. So those will all get you um, numbers. 
not too complicated. It's pretty easy to find online the maximum selling price of all of these products. But I thought a little bit deeper about that because the reality is that we don't just um, care about the product. We also care about the stuff that's used to make the product. So for example, I just sent out three orange juices. Let's look at orange juices. Speaking of which, I need to put another one in my juice maker. All right, so it takes an hour and 42 minutes to make orange juice. How long does it take to make uh, how long does it take for an orange tree to produce oranges? Well, let's find out. Let's pick some and we will figure it out. All right, well, I need to chop that one down. Oop, I'm out of saws. Oop, that one can be revived. All right, so let's put a brand new orange tree in here and let's see, shall we? It takes boop, one day, six hours, 30 hours to make, to produce oranges on an orange tree. The orange juice itself isn't that bad, frankly. Um, you've got, as I said, hour and 42 minutes, not too bad. Um, max selling price of orange juice, actually I don't think I can, I'll have to look it up. But either way, um, actually, let me look it up and I'll be right back. Okay, found it. So the max selling price of orange juice is 2,340 coins for 10 bottles, which is 234 coins per bottle. Okay, so if you did that division, 234 coins divided by one hour 42 minutes is about 1.7 hours. That is about 137.6 coins per hour making the orange juice. However, when you take into account the 30 hours it takes to produce the orange, 30 hours plus 1.7 hours, 31.7 hours to grow the oranges and then make the orange juice. That number goes down to 7.4 coins per hour. So if you take into account taking the product production into it, um, it drastically changes that number. Um, and so you wanna consider that as you are making product. So profitability, you want a product that you can make quickly, and you want a product whose components you can make quickly. So that's an interesting equation. So I will tell on myself that I actually created a spreadsheet, I'm a geek, that has every product that I've been able to find in Heyday on it. And currently I have the amount of coins per hour to just make the product. And then to the best that I could calculate, the adjusted coins per hour that take into account how long it takes to make the product and how long it takes um, to get the stuff to make the product. So it is a big spreadsheet. There's like 200, over 250 items on this thing and it took me weeks to work on it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty darn proud of it actually because I didn't find this anywhere else. I went online and I was looking whenever I would look up um, heyday profitability. I could never find like actual hard data. People would say, well, I think this is probably going to be your most profitable or this would. And it was all expert opinion. I couldn't find anyone who did the math to say mathematically, this is your most profitable pro product or this is your least profitable product. And you can do all sorts of other things with this. So you can look for the product, um, the most profitable product that takes longer than three hours to make. Um, you know, once you have a spreadsheet, you can do all sorts of magic with it. So I know you are all curious out there as to what is the most profitable product by the math that I can find in Heyday. So I'm gonna put that out there and I'm gonna let you think on it and I will answer the question tomorrow. I know, I know, I know, I hear you, I know I'm mean, but you just have to watch it tomorrow to see what it is. Uh, I want you to think on it a little bit and kind of ponder what you think the answer would be. Um, I thought about it ahead of time. I had what I thought it was, um, and I was actually incorrect. I was not correct. I thought I knew it, and I actually didn't. I'll give you this hint. It is so profitable, it is worth more than twice the adjusted coins per hour of the second place product. That's how far ahead it is which again, kind of blew my mind. But as best as I can tell, could my math be wrong? Absolutely, I'll explain my math to you. I will always explain my math so you guys can do it yourself and 
you know, disagree or do your own math if you want. But either way, I will tell you what the product, the number one profitability product uh, by my math is tomorrow. So in the meantime, shall we send a couple more of these? Sure. Yep, let's send this lovely little truck. Okay, now I'm up to 11. Yay. I'm over halfway there. So I'm going kind of slow on this. Normally I'd crank out trucks really quick, but I've got 17 more hours to go and this is my last task. I'm not stressed by it. Um, I'm trying to create product as I'm emptying it out so I don't completely empty my barn. Um, it's still gonna be kind of hurting for a little while. Oh, we need pancakes and I think I need a cookie, a cookie. Yes, let's put the cookie in. Let's also put the pancakes in. Ooh, I got a busy grill. All right, boop. All right, and then I just ran out of eggs for that so I better go and get some more eggs. All right, so I think that's all I got right now. So currently I am working on my last task, um, trying to kind of refill my barn as I do that, which is a bit of an adventure, but we'll get there. The great thing about Heyday is you just keep going. Eventually you'll make everything you need. You just need the time for it. All right, chicken feed. And I think that will do it for now. So I will see you tomorrow and we will talk about the most profitable product to make in Heyday. Happy farming.